Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Professor Sides, and this course is Principles of Macroeconomics, Chapter 12, or Chapter 25 in the Combination Book, Production and Growth. In the previous lectures, we've talked about international data, and with the production function, we've examined productivity. Now we will add to the conversation the link between pro policies and productivity, which leads to growth. In the first part, we talked about the policies, and in this part, the second part, we're going to talk about the effects that public policy has on economic growth. When an economy or a society chooses savings and investment over consumption, capital will rise, and in theory, productivity and standard of living increases. If the economy is poor and the living standard rises faster than a wealthy economy, we call this the catch-up effect. But at some point, no matter how much input we increase, the output will stay the same or decrease, and that's diminishing returns. The production function that we mentioned in our previous lecture shows the catch-up effect and diminishing returns. Here we look at the diminishing returns. What we have here is that if we have a, a worker that lives in a country where there is little capital, if we give them an increase in capital, then we will see that they, um, there's an, an, an increase excuse me, in productivity and that that increase in productivity is much larger than the increase in pro productivity of a worker who is already given a lot of capital. So in this example, here's a, um, a poor country, a developing nation, and then this would be a developed nation. And so when you give more capital, then you would notice when you give more capital, we have the same amount of capital here and here. But when you give the same amount of capital for a poor nation, the productivity is greater than with a more developed country. When we talk about the catch-up effect, we will use the same um, graph. And basically what we find is that a poor country will start here and a rich country will start here and we give both countries the same amount of input, but we will see that again, the poor country's growth is larger um, than the rich country's growth. And again, that's due to um, um, what we call the catch-up effect, but that's due to the fact that when a country, a poor country is given resources, it allows them to grow. It allows them to be more productive, which will spark growth. But if a rich country, given the same amount, they've already experiencing their wealth, they'll, you'll see very little productivity. And so on the curve, curve graphically, we see this distance here is greater here than it is here, showing that at this point we're beginning to see diminishing returns, whereas this country, the poorer country, still has a lot of room for growth and development. This concludes this chapter, chapter 12 or 25, Production and Growth. I look forward to speaking with you about these concepts in the classroom. Have a good day.